So to begin a manicure, you'll have a towel covering your treatment area and you'll either roll up a towel or have a hand rest in the middle that your client can pop their hands on. Do a quick check, you've already done your consultation, so just check for contraindications, any nail disorders, any bad cuts or bruises. And if you're okay, you can either use a hygiene spray or, which we prefer because it actually soaks the nails and makes it easier to file, pop one hand at a time into some warm water that's got some antibacterial soap or something similar in it and it just gives the hands a nice clean, softens the nails and prepares you to do your filing. So for filing, we have two really common types of files. We've got a glass nail file and we've also got our standard file. With a glass file, you still use it in the same way. You work from the outside to the middle and the outside to the middle. But what you do is it's your pressure that changes. So if you want to reduce the length of the nail, it's a slightly harder pressure. If you just want to shape, you keep the pressure nice and light. With the standard nail files, it's about the side that you use. So the more grainy side is to reduce length and then the finer side is to shape. So what we're going to do now is just take our time shaping the nails. They've got quite a defined natural shape anyway, so we're just gonna tidy up any ragged edges and keep the same shape. So we're just working from the outside to the middle, outside to the middle, and just checking that we're making it nice and even. Don't work on one side and then the other. Keep balancing out so that you don't end up reducing too much on one side. And then once you've finished, you can always go back and check with your client. So again, we're using the other style of nail file and we're just taking our time and just working outside to middle, outside to middle. And we're just going to continue doing this and then move on to cuticle removal. So we've done our filing and if there's any edges that we want to repair before we do the polish then we can do this at the end. Next we want to do some cuticle removal. So first of all we use some creamy cuticle remover and we either wrap some cotton wool around an orange wood stick or you can now buy the orange wood sticks that have already got the cotton wool on and it's so much easier. So just apply your cuticle remover onto the orange wood stick and just a tiny bit on each of the nails. And then this goes back into your water to soak while you file the other hand. So our cuticles have soaked and now we can remove the cuticle remover. So what we do is just take a damp piece of cotton wool and just wipe it over the nails. And when you're doing cuticle work and anything on the nail plate, always make sure that they stay nice and moist so that you don't scratch the nail. Then you can either put a little bit of cotton wool on an orange wood stick or wrap some round a hoof stick and then very, very gently start to push back the cuticle. If it's a really sort of long cuticle that's grown up the nail, then you can trim it down with the nippers. But if it's not too long, then you're just pushing it down and keeping it neat. So next we're going to just gently remove any cuticle that's still present on the nail plate and you use a cuticle knife for this. You always make sure it's nice and clean, you sanitise it first and again you keep the nail plate and the cuticle knife nice and clean. So make sure the nail plate is wet, always use the knife flat against the nail plate, never point in towards it and also don't point outwards because there's a small chance that you could nip the client. So just take your time, work flat against the plate and work in small circles and you'll be slowly removing any residual cuticle that's stuck on the nail plate. And then when you see some and it's ready to be removed, you can use a piece of damp cotton wool and just remove it and then move on to the next one. So just take your time with that and make sure that it's gentle circles and there's no way that you're accidentally placing any pressure or the point of the knife onto the nail plate. Cuticle nippers are next. If anyone had very, very long cuticles, what you would do is very, very carefully with clean nippers that have been sanitised, hold against that area, pinch and release. And then what you would find is it would come away and you can just use a bit of cotton wool just to wipe it. 
but our client today does not have long cuticles, so we don't have to do this. If there was a bit of skin that was long and loose and ragged here, then again, very, very carefully angle against the skin. Make sure you don't pinch the skin, but get that single bit of skin that's dry and ready to be removed. Pinch it, release, and it should come off very neatly just with a bit of cotton wool. So we're going to add some luxury into this manicure and do a hand scrub. So if you use a spatula to decant some of the scrub out onto your hand, make sure that you give it a nice rub through so it's not dripping everywhere. And then you can start to do a lovely, nice and relaxing scrub on your client. And you just cover the area. And then you can start to do effleurage, you can do circles, you can work down the fingers, you can work in between where people get dryness. And you can just spend a few minutes scrubbing and really helping to remove that dry skin. Because this scrub's also got an oil base to it, you're going to leave the client feeling really nice and soft and smooth. It'll be very moisturising. When you're ready to remove, it's damp sponges and you just work in strips. Taking your time to make sure that you've removed every last bit of the product. You can turn around. And then once you've removed all this, just take the sides of your towel up, give the hand a pat down to dry, and then you can either move on with the rest of your manicure or you can do an additional treatment, a hand mask. So we're going to do another luxury treatment, which is a hand mask. So we've popped some cling film down and when you wrap the hands in it, it traps in the heat and really helps to get the full benefit of the mask itself. So we're using a mask brush just to paint this on the palm first and just make sure you cover the area. Now this is a cream self-heating mask that we're using, but you can use paraffin wax. There's so many different types of mask you can use. And then just hold the cling film, pop your hand round, and just finish off. And check your manufacturer's instructions, but most masks, about five to 10 minutes. So you just cover the area fully. Obviously, this is a demonstration, so we're speeding it up a bit, but you would take your time and make sure you really cover the area. And then when you've done that, wrap in the cling film. You can wrap again in another towel just to trap in the heat. And then when it's time to remove, just use your sponges and some warm water and just very gently remove and then pat dry again with a towel to finish and you can move on with the next part of your manicure. So for anyone that just wants a natural shine to the nail, the last part of your manicure will be checking that you're happy with the filing, checking that you're happy with the cuticles and then doing some buffing just to create a natural shine. Lots of different types of buffers and today we're using the chamois leather with the buffing paste. So we've just placed a little on with an orangewood stick and then you just hold the finger and you just very gently buff it in. And it's a firm pressure but not too firm because you don't want to irritate the skin surrounding the nail. And then what you'll find is that you're left with a very nice natural shine. So we've wiped down the nails with some nail varnish remover to make sure there's no excess product or any oily residue on the nails. That'll give a patchy result to your nail polish if you don't do that. And for your base coat, just apply, if you can, in three strips. So middle of the nail and then each side. And that's the way that you want to apply your nail varnish if you can. And you want to try and not flood the cuticle. But if you do, there's ways that we can repair that. We can take some cotton wool on an orangewood stick and just tidy round. So next we are going to apply the nail colour itself. So normally it's two to three coats of nail colour and again in the same way, 
start in the middle, slide out, and then the edges. And then what you can do is just slide your nail colour underneath the nail to create a seal. And then do this two or three times. There's absolutely no harm if anyone wants to leave this tiny area clear at each side. Um, some people feel that that elongates the nail and makes it look a little bit longer, but the choice is yours. And you just continue all the way along, do your two or three coats, do your top coat and give it time to dry. And that is your basic manicure.